Welcome to a little special presentation about my Metal Gear collection. This is the original Metal Gear cartridge for the MSX2 and I want to show some more about my Metal Gear collection. The next one is not a stealth game and it's not a good game. Go away! The next one is the Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1 and I've got also the Metal Gear Solid Special Missions was an add-on disc with 300 more We Are missions and I think these are the best combination of maybe the best Metal Gear game. Everybody who owns a PS1 or is interested in stealth has to get these both versions. This is the standard version and this is the VR version. It's really interesting. The next one is the GameCube remake. It's a special version of Metal Gear Solid 1 with a lot more cutscenes with remixed music. Uh, I think I like this version. I know where some guys out there would don't think it's it's really interesting, but I think if you are a collector and if you're a GameCube fan, this is a good game. It's a very good game. Even the remixes of the music are also very interesting. So just get it. The next one, and I got both. This is Metal Gear Solid 2. The left one as the standard version. The right one as the substance version. Where you got also uh, Tony Hawk uh, Metal Gear Solid skate version. I think nobody asked for it, so why well, should get it? Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, is a mixed bag. I think the new character Raiden or Raiden uh, is, my, in my point of view, really bullshit. Uh, nobody liked him, nobody needed him, so um, it, it's, it's a good game, but nobody wants this character. The next one of course, the story of Big Boss, Snake Eater. Um, some prefer this as, a, as a, the best Metal Gear game because it's very technical, uh, very good, and it's very good looking. Uh, but I don't like the story of Big Boss. I'm not a fan of this character, so I'm not very really interested how we come from Naked Snake to Big Boss. But it's a good game. And this is the standard version, this is the enhanced version. In the enhanced version you also get Metal Gear 1 and 2. But these are not the MSX conversions. So um, a little bit different. But here you have both games. The last one of this collection, of course, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Also an um, interesting game, but not my game of taste. Um, just look for yourself. It's a good game, it resembles the whole story, uh, but it's it's a little bit too shooter-esque, a little bit too out of a series. It's not my game. And I also got some other things from the series. And if I show them right, it makes sense. This is Metal Gear Acid. It's a card game a strategy game from Metal Gear, it's not so good. Both versions are not very good. And this is the Metal Gear digital novel, something like a digital comic. Uh, I don't know where I'd get it, but I will show it. And for you little stealth fans out there, of course, there is another series. The Tom Clancy Splinter Cell series. This is the one. This is the second. And this is the third. And of course, these three games are very good. The third is a little bit too action oriented. The fourth, it's not a good game. Nobody likes it and it's very different on every other console, every other PC version. I don't know what, what Ubisoft was thinking about it. The last installment, Conviction, is a good game. It's a very good game. It's a little bit too easy for my taste but uh, it's a good game. So these are 
the stealth collections. I resemble it with a good old MSX cartridge. And thank you for watching.